Staking Cardano is simple as two clicks and it can get you a lot of passive income every five days in the form of ADA. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to stake Cardano or ADA with every single popular wallet out there and all of the ones I've listed in the description. Let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, you're going to need to have Cardano in your wallet and you're going to need to have a wallet created. To create a wallet, if you need help with that, leave a comment below and I will leave some resources on creating a wallet from scratch in the description below. And every single wallet here, this process is pretty similar, pretty much the exact same for creating one. So if you know how to use one wallet, you likely know how to use create another. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to have to fund this wallet. We're going to have to put ADA into it. And to do that, you simply buy ADA from an exchange and then you go to the withdrawal feature on that exchange. You put it to your crypto wallet and you would paste your address from your wallet in here. We're going to use NAMI for this. Let's just say we wanted to send some aid to ourselves. We would copy here, press the copy link, put the address here, and then put the amount of ADA we want to send to this wallet um, and it will send it to the wallet. And then we can proceed with the rest of the video, which is using this ADA and staking it back into the network. Now, this video that I'm making right now is not talking about everything you need to know about staking. If you wanna know how the rewards work, when you're gonna get paid, and every single little bit about Cardano staking that you might find interesting or useful, then I'll leave this video, which is Staking 101, everything you need to know linked down in the description. As well, keep in mind that the data list in your Roy Wallet Guides and those part of that video will be omitted and pasted down in the description so you can follow along there. And over there, you also will find wallet setup tutorials for both if you're unsure how to create a fresh wallet. Okay, now we're gonna jump right into the tutorial with the first general staking guide for every single wallet in this video. And this is a way to stake every single wallet simply with one website and that is pool.pm, okay? We're going to be using this as this is NAMI's main feature in order to stake your Cardano using NAMI. But every wallet on this list, as you can see on the right hand side here, can use Pool PM to stake. You can stake with whatever stake pool, you search it up, and then you click on it, and then you press the join button that will appear on the right hand side after the pool loads. Then you select your wallet. We're going to go back and we're going to stake with Jack. We're simply going to click join on the right hand side here if this is the pool we want to stake with. And then it'll prompt us for wallets. We're gonna click NAMI because NAMI is the first one we're doing here in terms of wallets. And after that, it's gonna prompt us with the transaction to sign for our stake key. And then we're gonna go ahead and sign this. And it'll go through after a little bit of time. And then I'll show you that we can check it staking with the correct pool in just a second after the confirmation succeeds. After the transaction succeeds, it will take you to your wallet and you'll see the top here, which pool that wallet is staking with, or you can click into NAMI wallet on the top right. And then you can go and see that right here, we're staking with Jack. If we want to reward, withdraw the rewards, we just click withdraw and we can get these rewards that have accumulated for staking in the past. Please keep in mind that it is going to take initially two ADA to start staking if you're using a fresh wallet and this ADA will be refunded to you if you ever choose to unstake. And also it will require a minimum fee of the Cardano network, which is around you know, 1, 0.15 ADA to change from pool to pool if you want to change pools afterwards. And one more thing that's very important is your rewards will take three epochs to come in, aka they are 10 days behind. So it may take 10 to 15 days to get your first set of rewards. And thereafter, you will get rewards every five days from then. Also, I wasn't showing it before, but in the top right to open NAMI, I just clicked on the Chrome extension. And now we're gonna do the eternal wallet setup by clicking the Chrome extension once again. Okay, so staking internal is also quite simple. You can do it in pool PM, like I said, but in the eternal wallet, all you have to do is go to the right here, click on staking once you're inside of your wallet, and you will see a tab where you can choose your stake pool. Simply en enter in a ticker, then click on the one you want, and press delegate. So you're gonna delegate, then you're gonna enter your spending password and press sign, and you will be staking with the stake pool that you wanted to stake with now. Please keep in mind that staking on Eternal and the staking vault are two separate things, and staking vault is by Eternal. Staking on Eternal here, this tab is just for general Cardano staking purposes, and is the one that will likely give you three to 4% yield across a span of you know the year. 
and it is the one that is going to pay you ADA liquidly and never lock up your ADA ever. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're going to be using Lace Wallet by clicking here on the Chrome extension. And then after that, we're going to go into the big full experience view. And we're going to go see that we have some ADA already in our wallet. We're going to go to the left hand side here and click staking and then find a stake pool we want to stake with. This version I'm using right now is on the test network of Cardano and the full version of Lace is not yet released, but it is going to likely be the exact same when you do have Lace installed and it's on the main network of Cardano. So this is going to likely play the same. Simply open the app, go to staking and then find the stake pool you want to stake with. We'll go with this one here. Um, if you want to know about returns and saturation levels and all this thing, then check out my other video on Staking 101 so you understand how to pick a stake pool if you are curious about that. But it's very simple. We click on the stake pool we want. We make sure it is right one and it's doing everything we want. We click stake to this pool. We go down, we push next, and then we enter the password for our wallet. After that, the staking will be successfully added and you'll start receiving rewards up after two epochs. Okay, so about 10 to 15 days before you see your first rewards, depending on the timing of your stake. And that is staking with Lace Wallet. Now we're gonna go next to Flint. Okay, next up is Flint, and we're simply gonna go to the top right once again, click on the Flint icon, and then you'll see here we've opened Flint. We're gonna make it big screen once again, and then we're gonna navigate to the top here and click Delegation, and then click the big orange Delegate button. After this, it's gonna bring us to pool PM once again. We're gonna to have to find a pool we enjoy. I like the Jack's stake pool, that is my stake pool. Then we're gonna go ahead and click the join on the right hand side here. Click on Flint right here. And then it'll prompt us to sign a transaction. After this prompts up, we can simply enter in our password, press okay, and then send. And we will be staking now to the stake pool of our choice after this confirmation. As you can see, we are now staking to the Jack stake pool. And if we go to our Flint tab right here and we open up, go back to the delegation, you can see that we are staking with the Jack stake pool and the next rewards are on January 10th, okay? Because we have to wait to be bucked, we're going to get rewards on January 10th. I mean, you can see all the information here, but you're staking, pretty good tab, and that is Flint Wallet. Now on to Typhon. Okay, so Typhon Wallet is also pretty similar. We're gonna to go to the top right, we're gonna click on Typhon, and then we are going to expand it once again because we like to see everything bigger. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to click on the left side for staking, after that, we just go to change right here if we want to change it, or if you have not delegated to a pool, it's going to prompt you with this page here to find a pool. We're gonna go find a pool we like or admire, type in the ticker, or just scroll through the others, select it, and then after that, we're going to confirm our move from one stake pool to the next. Press on your password, press confirm, and then you will be staking with the change stake pool or the new stake pool that you just started delegating to with Typhon Wallet. Now we can see all of our staking data right here, including our balances and our previously paid epochs, but we won't be getting rewards till around January 10th. So keep that in mind because we just started staking with this wallet today. It does take a little bit of time to get past that 10 day period of initial waiting. Okay, next up, we're going to use Jira Wallet by simply clicking in the top right once again and then entering the password for your wallet, whatever it may be, to get into your wallet and access your wallet's interface. After that, simply click on the stake button, the big one right here, and then click on restake, or you're gonna have to search again if you don't have a stake party selected, um, and just click stake, and then find a pool you wanna stake with. We're gonna go back to Jack's stake pool. We're gonna press continue, and then we're pressing continue again. After we type in our password, and we will be now staking with Jira Wallet on a different stake pool than before. One more confirmation. Um, and then once this process is, that will go through. And that is pretty much it for Jira Wallet. Now we're gonna move over to Begin Wallet by clicking the top right once again, and then opening our wallet interface. And you can either click Earn with Staking here or click on the bottom and press earn to access the staking feature. By default, Begin Wallet does prompt you to stake with Begin. And to do that, you simply just click the button and then you're going to enter your password and press confirm. Now their pool is the pool that made this wallet. You can also, like I said, go to pool PM and just click whatever 
uh, pool you want to do by clicking the join button. It's pretty simple. Just click the join button um, and you'll be able to do so. As long as you're not already sticking with that pool, the join button may not pop up, but you press join and then you press on the what you want to join with. Uh, begin wallet is right up here at the top and then you would just sign the transaction. Then after the staking is successful, you will see a message in the top. It will show up in green. I didn't catch it in the recording. And you will now see your staking with Begin. Um, you can then go ahead and change this anytime once again by using Pool PM and just typing in the pool you want to and pressing join. Now that is it for staking with all of the popular wallets on Cardano. If I missed any, let me know down in the description if you're having trouble and I will be there to help you. One last thing though, if you want to use your Roy or Daedalus, keep in mind, I have made complete separate videos for those, including how to fund them. So if you're struggling with the funding aspect as well, those videos may be of use to you. And if you're confused on how staking rewards work, how you always have control of your ADA and how it's always liquid while you are staking, it's never out of your custody, it's never locked up. If you're confused about any of the staking terms, then check out the video about staking 101, which will also be linked down in the description. And finally, one last note before we go, if you want to support the channel, you can consider staking with the Jack stake pool, and that would be greatly appreciated. But you can also stake with any stake pool. I do recommend, though, that you stake with a single pool operator to help the decentralization of Cardano, and Jack stake pool, biasly, is one of those. Anyways, that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed, found it useful, informative, and stay tuned for more videos on Cardano content every single day. Peace out.